In recent years, we've lost sight of what small car really means because the Fiat 500 is absolutely chuffing piccolo. It's just 275 millimetres. That's less than your school ruler, longer than a smart car. But this has four seats and it weighs just 470 kilograms, around two thirds of the original Mini. It really is very, very simple. The engine is an air-cooled two-cylinder job, mounted here in the back, same as the Beatles was, and for similar reasons. The earliest cars developed a widow-making 13 horsepower. But don't worry, because this one is a bit later and has 17. Maintenance was intended to be very simple. In the more rural areas of Italy, corner shops would stock essential Cinquecento spares, spark plugs, belts and what have you, rather in the way that these days you can buy a sat-nav from Sainsbury's. And we think of it as being incredibly cute, but Dante Giacosa did not design it to be this shape so that we would go uchi kuchi coo He did it this way to use as little sheet metal as possible because in 1950s Italy, steel was expensive. And that brings us to this fabric sunroof, which was not an extravagance and it wasn't an option. You had to have it. And it was there because fabric is lighter and cheaper than steel. Avanti. The 500 was launched in 1957 with the aim of being the Italian people's car, a four-wheeled version of a Vespa scooter. And while the KDF Wagen and the Trabi were cheap, they were, it has to be said, about as cheerful as your average Sean Penn film. The 500 was fun. In the way that the Trabant reminded you of you and your ideology's failings, the Fiat Cinquecento seemed to confirm that a simple life could be one of unalloyed joy. <laughs> 